this example, we want to look at how do we create a flowchart which has multiple steps of things to do. So over here, I have a blank diagram with flowchart on my side panel. I'm going to still create a terminator first because we always start with our terminator. And inside of it, I'm simply going to put start. This way we know where to start. Now I'm going to create a variable that I'm going to use in order to have access to data later on. Variables are like little boxes we can put stuff in. We can remember things and then we can retrieve them later. So a box to create something is known as a process box. So how am I going to do that? Well, it's a simple rectangle. I'm going to click and drag it over here. And I'm going to say name. This is just going to be to create a variable called name. I'm not doing anything with it yet. I'm going to do something in just a second. So I'm going to set up my flow lines and move from start to create a variable name. Now, sometimes I'll give a name a default value. And so I might say something like equals, and just put like an empty string or a set of double quotes. That's a good example. Or maybe I put something in there like Joe. So this is an example of creating a variable create a variable by putting something in there. You're going to do whatever you need to do to solve your problem. So what's next? Well, let's say that maybe Joe isn't the name that we want. We just put in there as a little default. So I'm going to come back over here to my data IO box. It's a parallelogram and drop it underneath my rectangle. This is going to be an input. So I'm going to specify input. Well, what am I inputting? name. Then I'm going to move and connect name to my input box. Now I want to output hello and then the name. So once again, a data IO, print hello plus name and connect those two boxes. Now that's done. I'm just going to use my terminator and specify end. So what we have here is a very simple flowchart. We start, we define a variable, we get some input and put in that variable, then we print something out using that variable. Notice that we just set a little plus sign to say, hey, put these two things together just like you would if you were adding two numbers together. Then we finally end. And how do we know that? Well, we have a set of flow lines that allow us to connect each box into a logical order, starting at start and ending at end. It's exactly what you would expect. And that's what flow charts are. Something easy to define, that way we can hand it off to another developer and they can work on building it. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like and then stick around to see the next video on how to do decisions and making a flowchart.